All right, Coach, go ahead, open them stable. Yeah, awesome day, man. Good cloud cover, had a lot of energy, a lot of juice. Got a, got a lot better, a lot of things. A big challenge this week. Uh, everybody counting us out, man. And uh, I tell you what, we, we had a really good day today, uh, improving on some things we got to improve on. And uh, saw a lot of growth, a lot of character. And uh, excited about playing this game this weekend at The Rock. It's going to be a big one. I hope our fans are excited. I know our players are. You know, we're looking forward to it, man. So with that, I'll open it up. For it being Competition Tuesday, are there spots today that were up for competition? Yeah, yeah. You know, probably a lot of them. You know what I mean, Glenn? Uh, right tackle, you know, uh, some of the other O-line spots. We had some young guys play well in that game when they came in. Tight end, uh, you know, running back. Uh, and then, you know, defensively, we got a lot of guys playing well right now, but that generates competition too, you know. So uh, it's good. I tell you, I thought, you know, like I said, I thought our kickoff cover team was really good. That's great to say as a point of emphasis this offseason. And uh, it's good to see Bryce Lofton. A lot of people don't know this, but Bryce had the flu on Friday. And uh, so that was his Michael Jordan flu game, man. He came back and, uh, and played really well and proud of him. Yep. Uh, with this weather coming in, what's kind of the – plan for the next couple of days we'll see you know what i mean uh, we'll see before i came out here today it looked like thursday morning we might be okay uh you know tomorrow we have to go to the pain center if we can't get outside uh hopefully by friday it's cleared up but we'll we'll adjust and move it around accordingly you know uh, we've had to do that a lot in the past and uh, so we'll adjust and move whatever we got to do uh, south florida coming into town what kind of what on their defense kind of uh, are they do you see on the film that it's something you're kind of? Yeah. Uh, well, it's their second year. They've really improved from year one to year two with their personnel. I think they said the number one recruiting class, a group of five. They got a lot of size on the D line. Uh, middle linebacker plays extremely hard. Uh, they, they, they play really, really hard in physical, uh, a lot like we do, you know, and uh, they get after it. And uh, so it's going to be a tremendous challenge for our offense. But, uh, you know, for us, offensively, we're focusing more on us. We, we, got, we just got to do our job and keep growing with each other and getting that chemistry and that synergy, you know, that because uh, we, we, we were really a good offense in fall camp versus a really good defense. And we just hadn't played up to our level in these first two weeks consistently. There's the, You see signs, you know, like the touchdown to Kyron Heath and the long pass to Justin Reed and Larry, the long run. You see the you see the explosiveness ability. We just got to consistently do it over time, and that's something we're working to do. Can you uh, just speak on their quarterback? He's a yeah. seasoned guy and good one of the better players of their conference. Yeah, really good player. Uh, has a lot of straight line speed. If he gets out in the open, he can take it to the house. But he's a big guy that's thick. Um, and he was the primary ball carrier 24 times last week versus Bama. Uh, you know, and that's the way that, that everything runs through him. For our fans, it'll remind them maybe of uh, Tim Tebow at Florida, where everything runs through him, and he's a bigger guy, 230 plus pounds. He can make you miss, but he's he's more of a downhill, thick, physical runner. That if he gets out in the open, he he can run away from you. And uh, I got a lot of respect for him because of his toughness. Uh, you can tell their team feeds off of that. They really protect him. Uh, he took a lot of hits last week from Bama and kept playing. And uh, he, he, he is, uh, he's one of the better players that we've played since we've been here. You broke down that film, you know, the day after. You know, your thoughts on the run game and then your message to your guys. I know on the outside zone stuff, y'all like to go that. And some of it was there. It just made, you know, you know veins weren't hit maybe as they should have been. Yeah, that, you know, outside zone is something that's a, a newer for us this year. It's not something we've majored in in the past. We're majoring in it now. Uh, we were reaching the defensive end a lot which hasn't happened to us much in live reps. We don't reach our ends very much. We didn't reach Kentucky much. Then all of a sudden we're reaching those ends, which means the back should hit it outside. Uh, the back was still cutting it back inside, even though the, the tackle was reaching him. So a lot of those runs that looked so bad were on the back. Uh, there were times when we could block better. Uh, there were times our tight end let us down. Uh, you know, so we just got to shore all that up, and we can. Uh, you know, we're, we're young and new at tight end, but that's not an excuse. We've played really well through fall camp versus a good defense. Uh, and these backs are experienced, and they can play. They take that to heart. They know they left a lot of yards out there. And um, we had some spots on the line where we played good. We didn't play good at right tackle. Uh, that, that's something that, 
you know, those kids will take pride in and, and, and are working hard to play better this week. And uh, I expect us to play much cleaner this week. Can you give any status updates on Sabatini or Jackson? Yeah, they're coming along. They look good. <clears throat> you know, they'll be back soon. Soon might be this week. It might not. Uh, I'm not going to give that away just because of – I don't want to hurt or help us or whatever versus South Florida, but they'll they'll be Southern Miss fans can expect to see them soon. Though. Thanks, guys. thanks, coach. Yep.